decision, by the way, has been made. Bumgarner's going back out to the Salvador Perez, the T2. I can remember back to T-ball. There was that freshness, that spring start that everybody loves about baseball. We had this huge parade, man. We were all named after a major league team. If you're nervous, uh, you're anxious, it's what you look forward to, and, uh, and that's where it all starts. I just couldn't believe how loud that many people could be in, in a ballpark. You feel the atmosphere, and the atmosphere is competitive. It's electric. I mean, it's a fun place to be. It was intense coming here on the road. Their fans, they have like professional hecklers. When I was a visitor, they would not stop chirping at me the entire game. Now playing for the Giants, you sometimes forget because they got your back so much here. Like even through some of the tough games, fans here kind of lift you up. You'd be like, hey, you know, good effort. We love you. We believe in you. We can do this. You feel like you, you want to give them everything you got because uh, you're grateful for, you know, how much they believe in you. All I remember about the story is the bus broke down and I didn't know what was going on. And the next thing I know, I see Bumgarner getting out of the bus and I guess he said, well, I fix it. And opening up to where, where the engine is and you know, I don't know if he's gonna cut a finger or you know, do something to himself there. And then a couple of minutes, it, we were back on the bus and we were taking off. So those guys are invaluable that, you know, can handle those things because buses break down a lot. I mean, it's definitely a band of brothers down there in the pen. I've seen the television show. They all fought for the other person. Everybody has confidence in each other, and you know that you're able to pass it on to the next guy, and that they're going to do just as well, if not better. We're all linking the chain, you know? Um, I'm just trying to compliment their effort. We play for the other guy. Our job is to seal that deal up, and we put that uniform on, and we lace up those cleats, man. It's going to be pretty hard to break that brotherhood that's down there. I remember being in the backyard with my dad, my brothers, and my sister would be out there, and, you know, we'd call out certain situations, whether it be, you know, game seven of the World Series, and it's wild. I mean, I get to do something that I've enjoyed since I was five years old. It's funny because I've seen the highlight enough now that it, <laughs> in my opinion, I look like a little kid again. If there was a bobblehead day, that was a pretty cool giveaway. You see bobbleheads of your favorite players, and then to see your face plastered on one, it's a pretty cool feeling. They give us a few pictures to pick from um, before they make it. Probably didn't look enough like John Stamos in the other pictures, and he finally found one that looked perfect. It's like a, it's a mini statue. Yeah, obviously, anytime you look like John Stamos, he wants to do it. Come see the Giants take on the Braves and score a bobblehead of the baseball gods. He did it better than I thought, to be honest. And looking at the ball and looking at the wall, I just, I made a decision that I, I thought that I had a chance to jump and get it. Like, it's not about me, it's not about how I felt coming off the, the field, it's about us finding a way to win. In my mind, like, I would rather die than not catch that ball. wild. Um, I think 2010 was definitely a whirlwind for me. And uh, 2012, I definitely had more of a chance to, to soak it up and appreciate um, how hard it is to, to win a World Series. Around way 2014, just with the drama there in, in Game 7, Ty and Run being on third, they're all so special in their own way. Autograph. Sure, kid. My cousin from LA said now that you have all those championships, you wouldn't have time for us kids. What? He said you won't work as hard. Come on. Hey, you tell your cousin that we're like all the other ballplayers and we put our rings on, 
one finger at a time. Come celebrate the trilogy on April 15th. I mean, we've had some unique characters. What makes it work here is that they all accept each other. They're different, but they don't let their differences rankle them. They let it become a strength. Or I, I, I don't want them to change. Uh, I want their personality to come out. That's when you're going to be your best that you can be. And uh, I do know that this club represents the city, and that's what the city's about, too. I think a lot of us um, have been very fortunate to play with each other for a number of years now and uh, really makes this run special. What's nice is that we all have that same common goal and, and we are very, very happy to have the fans that we have and to play in the city that we play in. But when you have the support of the city, you have the support of the fans, it almost takes it to another level. You feel the energy from, uh, from 41,000 people and that's what you compete on. 